Tonight, there's a video of a Rochester police arrest that is getting a lot of attention. The video shows a very ugly confrontation. We decided to try to get to the bottom of what happened so that when you see the video, you can watch it in context. Berkeley Breen talked to police and the two men who are at the center of the video. Now, Berkeley, this all started when police officers detained the wrong person, right? Yeah, that's right, Scott. The man you're going to see in handcuffs uh, in the video is the brother of the man that police were looking for. They just picked up the wrong guy. The man who police ended up tackling and arresting was recording this scene with his cell phone and yelling at police. You can view the tape all you want, man. That's fine. This is video of Rochester police detaining the wrong person. They have Daryl Appleberry in handcuffs. They mistook him for his brother. It's making Appleberry's friends angry. What is your name and your badge? That's the voice of Sean Gordon. He lives next door and says he was outside talking to Appleberry when police showed up. So I took out my phone and started recording instantly. Police repeatedly tell Gordon and others to back up. I don't care if you videotape me. Go stand in your porch. But Gordon ignores the orders and walks around the police car again. The officer tells Gordon he's blocking traffic and again tells him to move to the sidewalk. Back up now! Back up! Okay, that's right. Why do we have to answer you? Shut up! Moments later, with Appleberry still handcuffed in the car, the police car stops suddenly and police get out to arrest Sean Gordon. No! Family members are hysterical. Why is he out there arrest? I met Appleberry and Gordon at the scene today and reminded him that police told him he could record from the sidewalk. So why wouldn't you just do that? At the time, I'm not, I wasn't looking away from my camera. I was really trying to make sure they didn't hurt him. Police say they arrested Gordon because he was blocking the police car in the street. Gordon says he was standing in the driveway. The video does not show him. So why do you think the police, as they were about to leave, stop the car and get out and come and arrest you then? I feel like his mind told him that, you know what, let me pin this guy down because I, he probably felt disrespected from the language that I probably used earlier that you saw in the video. Daryl Appleberry was released from those handcuffs, but after the video stopped, Gordon was charged with resisting arrest and obstructing governmental administration, which is the legal way of saying that he was getting in the way of police doing their job. Uh, Scott, he spent the night in jail. He was arraigned this morning and released. All right, a lot of people sounding off about this. Berkeley Breen, live in the uh, newsroom. Thank you.